guys, we got to revisit both the Me Too and the HR. It's got to be hammered home because this video here is further evidence that they are strictly to attack innocent men, to harm innocent men. Because they don't get used when the guilty guys come around. You'll see what I mean. Now, first, I just want to show this comment in one of my videos from Alvo Splolio. Hopefully I got his name right. Where he's a good guy who is attacked by HR. I am a 29-year-old black man. I worked as a security guard at an office monitoring the cameras, greeting people at visitor's entrance, and key card managing. I'm a quiet person. I don't talk to anyone unless greeting, helping, or being helped. No doubt that makes you a target to be called creepy. Alvo. On Monday, I was reprimanded by my manager for making a comment to an employee, a white woman in her early 20s, who works in HR. She works in HR, exactly. When I walked to the coffee machine last week, it was something like second cup today. I allegedly thought it was some type of innuendo. I only asked that because it was early afternoon. Something po possessed me to make small talk. Well, she was lying to you and them, Alpha. She didn't think that at all. She's making up a story. She saw you were a low status male. Uh, you are harmless. Uh, you're beneath her. Yeah. Because of that comment, she also supposedly thought I was stalking her on cameras, even though my job is to watch the cameras. Okay. She didn't believe that. She didn't believe that. Now, this is a long story short. <clears throat> this guy got punished for it. Right? Now, we'll get into this one. And good thing I got time stamps here. We'll talk about how the real suspect, let's see, 732. This guy is the real killer. He actually did kill someone. Let's take a look at this. It was a coworker of Heather's. They had left work at about the same time. When the police spoke to Daniel, he acted like he barely knew who Heather was, implying that they had very limited conversations. They asked him if he would supply his DNA, but he refused. The police returned with a warrant two days later and obtained Daniel's DNA. It was a match for the DNA found under Heather's fingernails. Daniel was arrested in June 2017. The police found other evidence against Daniel. For example, he replaced some of the subfloor in his trailer less than a week after Heather's murder. He purchased a new mattress a few weeks later, and three months after the murder, he went to a dentist to have a broken tooth fixed. Yeah, it's the evidence is piling up. This guy is guilty. In a safe found in Daniel's trailer, the police found women's underwear and a journal documenting his sexual activities. Some of the activities were considered violent and sadistic. After his arrest, 10 women came forward and accused him of committing assaults. Of a 10 women came forward. He had to get arrested first. Tell me something, guys. Me Too's been around for 20 years. Since 2006, it's 18 years. That's almost two decades ago. How come they didn't use Me Too? Now, to be honest, this is happening in 2015. And it didn't really go viral, Me Too, that is, till 2017. Nevertheless, it was there. How come these women didn't use it? I'll tell you why. Because this guy actually did assault them. And when women get actual assaults, they sweep it under the rug. Why? Because they're scared and they're embarrassed. Any woman who actually get it, I, I want to give credit to Mr. Pink and Yellow, my old compadre here, because he mentioned this long ago. Women who are actually suffering from rape and assault, they don't come forward. Right. It was only when this guy was caught that they felt brave enough, finally, safe enough to come after this guy. So know that, right? Now, now here's the other thing. 1007, how come he wasn't sicked on? How, how come HR wasn't sicked on this guy? Because guess what? His 
female uh, co-workers were afraid of him. Here we go. Let's bring it up. The meanest things. Item number two. Many women who interacted with Daniel found him to be disturbing. They described him as aggressive, violent, a narcissist, a womanizer, a monster, a master manipulator, and someone who would not take no for an answer. Daniel was extremely motivated to have sex, angry during sex, and had a particular interest in sadistic acts like pulling hair and biting. He wrote down details of each act he performed with his partners. Colleagues at work frequently referred to Daniel as creepy. His female co-workers would tell young women at the plant to stay away from him. Heather was one of the women. Female co-workers would t warn other women to stay away from him. Tell me, hey, Alpho, sorry, Alvo, why wasn't this guy uh, fired through HR? Why didn't these women go to HR? You know why? Because he was the real deal. They were scared to death of this guy. That's why. They were afraid if they went to it, he would come after them. See, see, HR is for harmless guys like you. You know, and apparently this guy got, this guy Daniel got tail, even though he's an ugly guy. Right? He even has a girlfriend that in here that said he used her. Right? I don't know if I can find a, the picture of her up here. Oh, there she is. Yeah, this woman here complained. She was there for him. She's not a bad looking woman. And she's with this ugly, violent man. Right? So there you go. Just a typical female behavior. Now, there's a couple other things I want to point out before I, I leave this. I don't really have a lot of sympathy about this woman who got married, or sorry, murdered. And the reason why is because she was married. Now, here she is, let's see, with her little girl, right? So she got married. But guess what? Let's see if I can find it here. I might have to skim through. There, there, there she is with her little girl, right? Just a minute. But look at the relationship she had. Sean was looking into. Heather was in a tumultuous romantic relationship with a woman named Carmela. So this woman who knew all along she was a lesbian, married some sucker so that he provide for her. She got her girl out of it. Where is he? How come he's, he's not around? Because he's probably paying child support. And as soon as she got that little girl to make this guy pay child support, then she jumped on to her lesbian lover. She dumped him, no doubt. A note from Carmela to Heather was found in Heather's vehicle. One passage read something to the effect of, you are dead to me. It didn't sound like the relationship was going too well. Yeah, and in typical fashion, lesbian couples don't last long. Because there's no man to be the provider. That, that, that woman of hers was not going to provide for her. She wanted her to provide for her, no doubt. And it didn't work out. They're just two narcissists together. So guys, I know that's a bit off topic about how this video started. But to me, that's important because it makes me say, I don't care what happened to this woman. I don't care if that. This is a bad person. She, she married a man knowing she was a lesbian, knowing she wasn't attracted to him at all. And as soon as she got some little girl out of him, she booted him, estranged him from his family unit, and picked up with a lesbian, with the person who she wanted to be with. And she wasn't even good enough person to stay with her long. So I feel nothing but contempt for this woman. Don't care. Anyway... I made my point, though, where are you, Alvo? This is my point. HR and Me Too are strictly for attacking innocent men. The guilty men are left alone. That's why they have to be discarded. Thank you, everyone.